All right, so we are on, well, for you, day three. For, for me, 30 minutes later, our powder, the clutter here. Um, if you haven't watched my first one, I am just going to post them back to back because why not? We do what we want here. Um, second of all, please don't ask for products. I already know who I want to send them and give them to. So, yeah. And I'm not a brutal declutter person. I keep what I want and, or keep what I like and just get rid of what I don't like and doesn't work for me. So, all right, let's begin. Okay. And you will see loads. Like I will have five eye looks, even this one including. So we will see this probably next week. Later in the week, maybe depending on when I get done filming my declutters, I have a lot. A lot. I'll probably film three of them today. Film this eye look. Film three more tomorrow. I think that's what we're gonna do. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's let's go. I'm rambling over here. So what we have, which is in my weekly stash, is the Becca Hydra Mist. Keeping. I love this. I don't like my skin looks. It's gorgeous. Keeping. And also keeping my Peach Blur Translucent Smoothing Finishing Powder. Keeping. And my backup. Keeping. My cats have lost it out in the hallway. Um, so far, we're going to keep the Smashbox. I haven't found a foundation I like it with yet, but I've only used it with one. So we're going to keep this and still give it a go. If not, I will kill the uh, mini declutter on what's leaving my stash. So, yeah, stay tuned. For now, we're keeping, but could change it later in life. This is an obvious keep here to see. Maybe we can fit me loose finish pouting, powder and fair light. I love this stuff. It's like my third grade purchase. New found favorite is the ABH loose setting powder. Keeping good stuff. She says. And then I have the Seate Extraordinary Translucent Powder. Oh wow, I got powder everywhere over here. We are keeping. She's just an ultra fine powder. So careful, it's messy. One of my newer ones is the Marc Jacobs. It's accomplished bl blurring beauty powder. Pretty much a setting powder. Keeping. It's a shade darker, which is fine. That's going to work for me because I do have one couple of foundations that are a little white for me so we will be keeping that a newer one that come to my stash is the cream shop ultra matte translucent keeping so i'm giving it a go yet one that is leaving is the believe beauty i don't like this okay i've tried it with so many different foundations i just can't it's not mine it makes me so cakey she's going She's toodalooing. Another one toodalooing is the It Bye Bye Pores Pressed Translucent Powder. I, if you can tell, I have given it so many tries. I just don't. It makes me look so cakey. So she's toodalooing too. Keeping the Hard Candy Translucent Sheer Envy No Flash Powder. I don't remember how I feel about this, so we're going to keep it and see what I feel about it. Main reason why she is staying. And another keeper for sure is the Essence All About Matte Fixing Comeback. This is my third one. She's staying. Empty two of those last year, I believe. A newer one is this MAC Light Studio Fix Perfecting Powder. Keeping. I have not used it yet. Uh, also keeping the Kylie Jenner Translucent Setting Powder. I like that stuff. We have uh, Jeffree Star Shade Fair Keeping. And we have Ofra Banana Powder. I didn't like this. She's going. Toodalooing as well. Then we have the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I don't remember how I felt about this. We'll keep this and find out. That might be another one. I might get the color later down the road. Definitely keeping is the Urban Decay All Nighter. So what I use on my liner foundation so because this right here will darken your foundation by one shade. So keep that in mind before you purchase. 
but I love it. It looks great on the skin. And then we have the Too Faced Banana Powder. I quite like this as a finishing powder, so I will be keeping this one. Let's see how many we kept. Um, I'm keeping 17 total, and that's including my backup as my peach blur. And we are getting rid of a total of three. Not too bad. So that shows I know within the gauge round of what I do like to wear on my face. So that's not bad at all, really, if you think about it. Yeah. Well, besides the new ones I haven't used, we can't we can't really gauge those yet. So we'll see. You know, future references. Couple don't remember to keep the try. So. Getting rid of, put that, oops, in our box, they're fine, they're fine, and are nicely keeping. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.